Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. By the way, I'm Pastor Rich and welcome to my channel. For today's video, samahan niyo po ako as I share a DIY on how to turn your um, old transparent phone cases into something colorful using crepe papers. Let's go! <laughs> So here are the items that we need for this DIY. Of course, the first one is our transparent phone case, our old transparent phone case, na naging yellowish na sa katagalan ng ating paggamit. And to color our phone case, we will use crepe papers. Uh, the color depends kung anong gusto nyo. Pwede kayong gumamit ng isang kulay lang or gawin yung two-tone yung kulay ng phone case. So you'll use two colors, three colors, or even more, depending sa inyo. Kailangan din natin ng basahan. Cotton or cotton balls. Nail polish remover. Kung wala naman kayo nail polish remover, uh, you can also use an alcohol. We also need containers, isa para sa bawat kulay ng crepe paper na gagamitin nyo. We also need a scissor, hot water, and last but not the least, a pair of gloves para hindi madumihan or ma-stain ng color yung kamay natin. Anyway, let's get started with the DIY. The first step is to clean the phone cases with a nail polish remover or the alcohol. This will help remove the oil or the grease sa phone case natin para mas maganda at mas mabilis ang pagkapit ng color ng crepe paper. Just be sure to clean your phone case thoroughly. By the way, I made a video before on the best way to clean your transparent phone case. Uh, the link is on the description below. I hope you'll watch it as well. The next step is to cut the crepe paper. So yung size ng paper na gagamitin nyo is dependent on the size of your phone case or kung gaano kakulay ang gusto nyo mangyari. For this video, I decided to start with a small size na crepe paper dahil ang rule of thumb dyan ay mas madaling magdagdag kesa sa magbawas. Now, ilagay na natin ang crepe paper sa containers. One for each color. Sa mga batang nanonood, please ask the help of your parents or any adults sa paggamit ng hot water. Ibuos ang hot water sa bawat container. Yung dami ng tubig should be enough sa paglublob ng phone case sa container. Then, galaw-galawin yung crepe paper sa tubig para kumalat yung kulay. Actually, you should use a stick for this. Ewan ko ba kung ba't kinamay ko. And yes, mainit yung tubig. <laughs> for this case, I was hoping to do a light pink to dark pink na ombre. Unfortunately, as you can see, yung light pink, hindi siya masyadong kumukulay as I hope it would. So, kinaskas ko na lang siya nung crepe paper pero ayaw pa rin niya talagang kumulay. And since ayaw talagang kumulay, iniba ko na lang yung design sa isip ko. So, I thought of the dark pink and the purple uh, with the lava lamp effect. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, you can add more crepe paper for a better color payout. Ideally, mas maganda na tanggalin nyo yung crepe paper sa container 
Tapos, ibabad yun na lang yung phone case dun sa tubig na may kulay uh, for an even color. Pwede mo siyang ibabad for 4 minutes or more, uh, like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, depende kung gaano katingkad yung kulay na gusto mong ma-achieve. Pero, pwede mo rin ikaskas yung crepe paper sa phone case to achieve different designs like different shapes or uh, kung kailangan nyo ng mas matingkad na kulay sa ibang part. Katulad sa phone case na to, kung saan I was hoping to do a diagonal ombre, so kaya ko siya kinuskos nung crepe paper kasi mahirap ibabad ng pa-diagonal. As you can see, I tried to use the light blue color pero hindi rin siya kumakapit just like the light pink. But if you want to achieve a light color, like for example the light blue, I suggest na gamitin mo na lang yung regular na blue color na crepe paper pero wag mo na lang siyang ibabad ng matagal so you will achieve the light blue. Para sa pangatlong phone case, I thought of the regular two-toned ombre na kulay. Uh, I'm going to use blue and purple. So this is really a nice way to recycle or to reuse our old phone cases. Para hindi naman tayo basta-basta lang nagtatapon ng plastic. Considering na ang mga plastic na basura ang isa sa mabigat na problema para sa ating inang kalikasan. Wow, Tagalog! <laughs> Pero kung yung mga plastic na kaibigan naman ang meron ka, well, itapon mo na kagad yan. <laughs> By the way, when it comes to this kind of DIY, don't be afraid to experiment. You can use different colors or do any designs that you wish. Consider your phone case as a canvas. Kahit ano man ang maging outcome, it is a form of art, so it is beautiful as long as it makes you feel happy and it makes you feel good. So let your creativity shine. This DIY is also a nice bonding activity for your kids or even friends, so I hope you'll share this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's your boy Rich, and I'll see you on the next video.